Just see that he stays open in his throat latch. You don't want him to collapse right behind the pole. Just a little bit more open. But then hold him by your leg so his hand then stays underneath you. That's better. Not lower, Debbie. He shouldn't fall away on its own. If you allow him to stretch down, it's another story. But try to use a little bit your position and your leg. You have a wonderful seat in leg. Just use it. That's better. So in a moment he wants to fall and drop a little behind you, use a little leg. Straighten him a tiny bit on your outside rein. Have a slight shoulder fall. And then see if you just put him into a half pass to the left. But again, keep him a little open, a little bit more free in his throat latch, but still having the hunches come under you. And go straight. Try to have a little more shoulder to the left, Debbie, and do it again. Try to avoid that you bend in the neck too much. Rather think of a slight more positioning with the shoulder, but not too much the neck. Less, less, that's better. That's better. And go straight again. You can see him getting more and more engaged. And then do a counter change of hands, Debbie. But again, don't let him get longer per se. It's just open and more in front of your hand. Not faster, don't lose your collection. Don't run, don't run. Again, just a little open, don't run. And turn right. Try to just do it, give him a little bit of an easier time for a moment. Just go one counter change of hand, just one half pass a change and then back to the wall. Try not to bend the neck too much. Again, now stand him up a little first. Stand him up, don't run through the change of bend, Debbie. Don't. Turn right. You do it all over. Try not, to, try not to lose them on the change of direction. Try to keep your collection and stand them up a little bit for the change so he doesn't run into the new direction without having the change. Just take your time. That's better. Now straighten, change, then position. You have to try to get your position a little bit. That's better. Now straighten his neck. Don't have it so much bent. It's easier for him to go into the other side. You see, when you go into the left, you have to get the neck a little straighter and get the shoulder to the left, shoulder four left. Straighten him left. That's it. Don't bend the neck too much. And then straighten again and change. Good. Do that one more time. But again, concentrate on your self-carriage. Concentrate on keeping the pole lightly open in front of you. And concentrate that you have them a little straighter in between. Now straight first. Position the shoulder, then change. That's better. And again, concentrate straight, a little looser and upward. 